Superconductivity is one thing that everybody should be super excited about. Superconductivity is going to make our trains faster, our um, energy transport more efficient. So what is superconductivity? The short answer to that, and the funny answer, is pairs of electrons dancing or waltzing together. The more serious and more scientific answer is that when electrons actually form pairs and when those pairs move in a correlated way in a metal, then there is no electrical resistance in that material. And that is what we call superconductivity. Why is that good? Well, superconductivity is not good if you didn't live in Houston and you wanted to heat up your room with a um, resistive heater because it's the heat that the resistor gives out when electrical current flows through it that we use to warm up our rooms or to cook food, or maybe we used to, not anymore. Well, when energy isn't lost like that, or in materials where energy isn't lost like that, um, those are materials which have zero resistivity, and that's a state called superconductivity. And the temperature below this state superconductivity occurs tends to be pretty low. It tends to be hundreds degrees below freezing. Um, that's the best that we have achieved so far in uh, some materials that are called cuprates. The quest continues for finding materials in which the superconductive state can exist up to room temperature, ideally, because then we could have wires that are superconducting, we could have electricity go through without any heating, and wouldn't that be great because we wouldn't lose all the energy that's being produced at the plant by the time it comes to us to use it. And then there's also um, the um, maglev trains, which you may have heard of, and those would take advantage of Another property of superconductors, which is that superconductors and magnetic field, for example, are like water and oil. They don't like each other. Superconductivity repels all magnetic field, and therefore you could have a magnetic train suspended on a superconductor that could run without friction, and off you went at very high speeds. So superconductivity is really good, except that we're not quite at room temperature superconductivity, but we're trying.